Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Brought to you by Caliber Home Loans. At Caliber Wholesale, our products make us different and our people make us great. Caliber Home Loans Incorporated is an industry product leader with a full offering of core conventional and government products, coupled with our innovative non-agency portfolio lending products. Contact us to learn more. Welcome to another edition of Master of the Markets. I'm Barry Habib at MBS Highway and this is created exclusively for Mortgage News Network, brought to you by our good friends at Caliber Home Loans. So last week was a quiet news week, but it doesn't mean the activity in the bond market was quiet at all. Quite a bit of volatility. We saw bond prices really improve towards the middle of the week when we got a very favorable 10-year Treasury note auction. And things were looking great. And then on Thursday, we got the 30-year bond auction, and that wasn't so uh, well received. So we started to see a move higher in yields and lower in price on Thursday afternoon. And then, of course, Friday, we had some carryover and some inflation fears. So where are we now? and What do we have to look forward to in this shortened week ahead? Well, this week, we're going to get some very important inflation news. The CPI report, much more closely watched than last week's producer price index, which measures wholesale inflation. The CPI report is retail inflation. Now, Fed members will tell you that they prefer something called the PCE, the personal consumption expenditure. And you've heard me say that the CPI is a lot more accurate the PCE certainly doesn't take into consideration things like the cost to put a roof over your head or the cost of out-of-pocket medical expenses. So I feel that this report we'll be getting this week, the CPI, will be much more of a finger on the pulse. And we're going to get that on Wednesday. And that could be market moving. Remember that bonds hate volatility. We've seen oil prices move up. So we do need to be cautious Wednesday if that CPI number comes out to be hotter than expected, higher than expected, we probably will see bonds move negatively or adversely, you know, higher in yield, lower in price. So we need to be careful about that. Now, we skate past this report. We could see a resumption. Now, what's one, what's some of the triggers that we have to look forward to this week as far as where we can determine which way the markets will go? Watch 2.385 on the 10-year Treasury. You've heard me talk about that number before. That did act as a good ceiling on the way up. Once it was broken, boy, yields went much higher. And we had just broken underneath that last week, uh, only to kind of give that up. So this is an important line in the sand. If yields can get back down beneath it, we could see them go all the way back down to 2.18. Now listen, we've had a really nice run. After the Fed hike, you know, a day later, we did see some volatility. But since then, it's been an enormous rally, over 200 basis points. So giving back some of that is okay so long as we can regain this 2.385 on the 10-year treasury. I want you to watch that carefully this week. You know, if you want to watch it every day, you might as well sign up for MBS Highway. It's a lot more than just monitoring rates. We've got some great co-branded material. Right now, you've got to be working with your real estate agents. So next week when we'll talk, we'll be talking about that housing data that came out, seeing how it affects the housing market. Take us up on a free trial to MBS Highway. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Your reputation with your referring business partners depends largely on the lenders you recommend. This is why you'll want to choose a partner who shares your commitment to customer service. At Caliber Home Loans, our products make us different and our people make us great. I'm a leading product innovator. In addition to our core conventional, government, and jumbo loans, we've created our own non-agency portfolio lending products. These enable you to assist creditworthy clients who can demonstrate the ability to repay. To learn more, visit us online at CaliberWholesale.com. This is Mortgage News Network.